You saved as many Illidian lives as you could. And more importantly, you looked after your crew. Nipa. That's what counts. You have to look out for your own, first and foremost. In the heat of the moment, I just couldn't risk losing Lieutenant Bedrosian. I understand. Not an easy decision. We'd be lost without a tactical officer. Unfortunately, the Admiral was among those who didn't make it. I'm sure it's a huge blow to the Olydians. I hope they don't blame us. We suffered our own losses as well. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hotari or Khan, I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves, under our control. Um, say that I'm meeting Kyle. You know what's at stake for me here, and what is at stake for you too. I can't afford another mission gone wrong, and I'm really counting on your support. I don't want to raise a false alarm just yet. I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse than it already is. I'm sorry, Captain, but this isn't about you. The lives of everyone who wears a uniform are at stake. I don't see it that way. We're ready in the briefing room. <laughs> hey, okay, good guy. On our way. Is there any update on our efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signature? Unfortunately, no. Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. It disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Storm. Something that powerful in their hands? We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Literally anywhere. I have faith in our away team. They won't give up easily, and if they can somehow manage to stay alive, then maybe they could get word to us about their location. That'd be a hell of a lucky break. Right now, we need all the luck we can get. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. Just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. We shouldn't take any chances. <laughs> we should at least alert yeah, Starfleet that our system was compromised. I agree with Commander Rydak. We should let Starfleet decide how they want to handle it. And essentially tell them this mission was a failure before it's even over? No. That's not how we're going to do it. Not on my ship. I want to speak with the Hatari and get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their minds. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari. And the Elidians. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device okay. Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan. Uh. They're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. Okay. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level. Bringing individual Takan back to life one by one. Is there some way it could be reversed? That's exactly what I've been trying to find out. So far, it appears the answer is no. Once the Taconian takes control, the displacement of the host is irreversible. And the bioforming appears to be permanent. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. But the computer had no information about it. 
She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those Scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust and trespassing on their territory. What if there are no Hotari left? If Galvin and Sidron were to come, who else? The Queen? I think we would know if that were the case. We'll take every precaution. With the Cartabula gone, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transporters. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Thank you for following Yoho. Nice work, everyone. Star recommendations, man. Tap, yaksa koko aya, enemmän. You're long overdue for a Deridian infusion. Ah. It looks like I am. Aside from almost running out of Deridium, I'm in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You, I don't worry about. The captain, however. Go on. You see it, don't you? He's desperate. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. Mutta ko tohtori voi julista kapteenin kapteenin kyvyttömäksi hoitaa tehtäviä. You've spent enough time with him now. Seen enough of how he runs this ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. Don't sugarcoat it. You know I wouldn't. To be honest, I'm worried about him. Seems like the stress of this mission is getting to him. He has so much riding on its success, and I am concerned he'll do something rash to ensure it. To know we see eye to eye on this, and I want to be clear: I care about Solano. I really do. I've been his doctor for years. There are more important things at stake than offending an old friend. If it gets any worse, you know where to find me. Zora. levels. I'll be right back. How's your wound? Like it was never there. If you're lucky, you were there with me. Without you, I'd be well. Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. I should be thanking you. You took that disruptor shot for me. Without you, I might be the one in sick bay, or worse. Well, I couldn't just let you die. Not after all you did to help. I won't forget it. We saw the truth down in those mines. What Sidron and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew so much was a lie. The horror of that underneath our feet the entire time. What we learned down there will help us win this fight. Truth is power, and we'll use that to stop Galvin and Sidron. If you're right, then it was worth it. I truly hope you're right. Commander Rydek, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. Hmm. Epäilyttävää. Mikään nää on menossa? Tämä tähtiin sota tyyppinen alus kyllä. They haven't found us yet. We can't just wait to be rescued. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. But if we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? For how a 
tight the Illidians are, the cargo bay is kind of a mess. Come on, Carter. We need to stick with the tall guy. Up there? All right. Etzelar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phasers. Low power, Millie. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. Another down. Hurry, Carter! I am! Only one left. Shit hell. Ah, so toll it hell. Here it comes. They won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw that. us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Just a cut of transport, Terry Transporteria se tuk sini sana kep so na aku pun sisa lah koordin ada. That means the real Miranda is still in there. The Takan don't have her, not completely at least. She must still feel something. That is a reason to hold out hope. And a reason to remember the Takan haven't just hijacked this ship; they've hijacked every body they're in. I know she played us, used her sympathies, your relationship to break out of sick bay. But maybe there's a way to turn her back, and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. <laughs> I'm here, you have but... to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. Uh -huh. It's just one line. It's already been lost. lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. There is no such thing as just one life. And she is not lost. This isn't calculus. You can't just break it down by the numbers. Perhaps that's why my admiral and everyone else in the final transport was lost. A problem with your calculus. Our losses are mounting. Yours are just beginning. We're stuck on this ship, same as you. Yeah. I'm blocked out of helm control. Propulsion? And they're closing down systems faster than I can check them. Ah. Uh, they're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Let us help. Fine. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Yo, that that may I don't think you. Vaikka toi oppii oppii mukalaistietokone heti. I can see the course they have plotted in. A 
Lady and Fleet has explored a lot of systems, but it's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. The Zeldi, that's where we are. That's not exactly news. Long way from Hotari space. I hope the Resolute is all right back there. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. Mm -hmm. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines. They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. But it doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship, so that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. Me is at the Tää herättää sitä imperiumia henkiä. Okei. Okay. That should do it. Hello. Can you read me? It's Tasker. Is that you? Major. It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed. And ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them. Take back the ship. Itasca, are you still there? Ellei no joo, ellei täällä niinku kusetusta. Are you still there? Tästis sanottuna. You shouldn't trust anyone else you meet. The Hotari have been transforming people on the ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. Trust goes both ways. We trust you. You trust us. I'll go with that. Until you give me reason not to. Back at you, Stretch. Stretch. We'll make it to you undetected, and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there, safely, through the back routes. On se aika hujoppi kyllä. Sillä aikaa. Hannemaskin. Tää voi mennä ainoastaan hyvin. Your Majesty, an apology is in order. The Federation... Spare us your apologies, your excuses, your pathetic explanations. You said you were here under the pretense of peace, yet you trespassed into our minds. I should have known you couldn't be trusted when you sided with the Illidians. Your intentions have been clear from the start. I take full responsibility for my actions, which were entirely my own, not the Federation's. How noble. Your Majesty, if I may. Her actions nearly caused a war. 
I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Votari now. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain under Hotari control. We now recognize the Hotari as the sole authority in this region. Uh huh. Your presence here is no longer necessary. So you can consider the matter resolved. They never wanted the Federation involved. This was all just a ploy from the start. We never needed the Federation involved. But we're so thankful that you've come. That being said, the sooner you leave, better the hell we will what about my crew trapped aboard that ship or what you did to my security team the data you stole i want to make one thing clear no one is to leave hotari space without federation approval yeah. no one captain lamin is the hermit you think you have that power when in fact you have none you came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority that you would show up and render judgment in this petty dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Blinding you to the real power at work here. Enough of this nonsense. You're not fooling anyone. We know you're Takan. Gone. A word I haven't heard in a very long time. At the height of our power, the Takan Empire spanned hundreds of thousands of light years and trillions of Takonians. Uh -huh. An empire that encompassed what is now considered Federation territory. What's yours was what's ours. So it feels only right that we reclaim what was lost. Everything you hold dear will be gone. The first of many painful losses to come. You won't get away with this. You'll be held accountable by the Federation. I already have gotten away with it. And the Federation has no authority here. Not anymore. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine what a queen, a starship captain, or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. In the face of such impossible odds against an adversary so clearly more advanced in every way, the only logical choice is to submit. Never. Hmm. Seize them. Get us out of here now. Rydic to Resolute. Beam us out. Yeah, this is all nice stuff. Kai oletti, että no ei pystyisi tekemään tota noin. You ever done something like this before? Close quarters combat? Infiltrating an enemy stronghold? Something like that. I once spent six days crawling through sewers during the siege of Tofar Ket to retake the citadel there. That's just one of many campaigns I've served in. My dress uniform is well decorated. We're up against the Takan now. This is different than anything you faced before. Not when you're used to putting down an overmatched Hotari rebellion. You wouldn't think it was so easy if you'd been there. Enemies change, but the fundamentals of war do not. Now, Lieutenant Itasca, she fought shoulder to shoulder with me in that siege. So you're pretty close, huh? She's like a daughter to me. She's saved my life more than once. She's more than just a comrade in arms. That must mean she's a good soldier. The very best. We saved your life. What does that make us? We aren't out of danger yet. But once we have my comrades, proper soldiers, we'll be able to retake the bridge. Then, our fleets will catch up to us. The ATP is just down that corridor. Yeah. 
epäilyttävää. Is this the artillery platform? This is the power distribution for the forward armament cluster. combat here. Disruptor burns on the walls. Signs of a grenade detonation. If there was a fight, the Takan might still be nearby. Maybe my people killed them. Or they could be waiting for us. Then that's a problem for when we meet them. The distribution conduits have been knocked loose. The currents in those lines would be weak. Oh, Is there that any that way to power power down? Each circuit has a control panel that regulates power to the magneto banks. We track connections between the power lines and the control panels. I should be able to clear a safe path to your crew. We'll get the door open here. Putslee aika taas. Eli täytyy myös jatkaista muutama ongelma, että päästään eteenpäin. Tämä trekissä trekkifanit on vaan sanonut, kun esimerkiksi niin kuin noissa uusi sukupolvi niin kuin Star Trek-sarjassa, niin mukalaisrotujen alukset, mitä tyyliin tavataan tyyliin viikoittain, niin ne ei ole hirveän mielikuvituksellisia. Tässä niillä ei ole selkeää muotokieltä samalla tavalla kuin, niin kuin esimerkiksi niin kuin, no, federaation aluksilla on ja näillä muutamalla määrillä. There's a lot of collateral damage out here. They backed us into a corner. We did that to drive them out. Put some space between us and the enemy. Ah! They're here. Get down! I think they've given up on capture. We'll never make it if we go back that way. You! Give me a hand with this!
Aha, räjähtäviä tynnyreitä. Se meni vähän huonosti kyllä. Eli ne odotti vaan, että noi tulee ulos tuolta. Okei, okay, on nää vähän enemmän kuin ystäviä. Hadri and Private Turo. They weren't the only ones. But if we hadn't, it would have been all of us. I'll have to live with that. And I'll answer for it when I die. It's not the Illidian way to leave one of our own behind. It's a sin to do so. We're not gonna die. Not if I have anything to say about it. It's more important that we win. When we were in there, trapped, we agreed that we had to live to fight. Hadri agreed. We said if one of us was taken, the others wouldn't stop. We'd keep going, make our way to the bridge. They died so we could fight on. The Takan don't want them dead. They want to steal their bodies. And steal their minds. The Takan knows everything the host knows. That means they know our plan. They know we're heading to the bridge. Ah. 